Is consensus science proof of truth? There is a belief among many atheists that consensus among scientists is proof of truth. However, that belief is false, for the following reasons. One, scientist quote, there is increasing concern that most current published research findings are false. Dr. Ioannidis, in PLOS Medicine, Scientific Journal, quote, for many current scientific fields, claimed research findings may often be simply accurate measures of the prevailing bias. Dr. Ioannidis, quote, for most study designs and settings, it is more likely for a research claim to be false than true. Dr. Ioannidis, two, scientist, quote, it is the nature of science that facts that are believed to be true are often shown to be false over the course of time. Dr. Koretz and Dr. Poinard in the scientific journal Gastroenterology, quote, in the year 2000, of those past scientific conclusions, only 60% were still considered to be true. Dr. Koretz and Dr. Poinard, quote, only 43% of the papers published between 1945 and 1979 were rated as true. Dr. Koretz and Dr. Poinard, quote, the investigators decided that conclusions, based on what has been considered to be good methodology, were no more likely to remain true than those of supposedly poorer methodology. Dr. Koretz and Dr. Poinard, three, scientist, quote, scientists tried to confirm published findings. 53 papers were deemed landmark studies. Nevertheless, scientific findings were confirmed in only six 11% cases. This was a shocking result. Dr. Begley and Dr. Ellis in Nature, Scientific Journal. Four, scientists quote, validation projects that were started based on exciting published data have often resulted in disillusionment when key data published by scientists in the scientific literature could not be reproduced. Dr. Prinz et al. in Nature Reviews, Scientific Journal, quote, talking to scientists, both in academia and in industry, there seems to be a general impression that many results that are published in the scientific literature are hard to reproduce. Dr. Prinz et al., quote, of 67 analyzed scientific projects, only in 20 to 25% were the relevant published data completely in line with our in-house findings. Dr. Prinz et al., quote, surprisingly, even publications in prestigious journals or from several independent groups did not ensure reproducibility. Indeed, our analysis revealed that the reproducibility of published data did not significantly correlate with journal impact factors or the number of independent groups that authored the publications. Dr. Prinz et al., quote, our findings are mirrored by gut feelings expressed in personal communications with scientists from academia or other companies, as well as published observations. An unspoken rule that at least 50% of published studies, even those in top-tier academic journals, can't be repeated with the same conclusions by an industrial lab has been recently reported. Dr. Prince et al. 5. Scientist quote, We went through the paper line by line, figure by figure. I explained that we redid their experiment 50 times and never got their result. He said they'd done it six times and got this result once, but put it in the paper because it made the best story. It's very disillusioning. Dr. Begley, interview, my comments. One, science is always provisional. Any claim that science provides us with certainty of truth is a false misunderstanding of science. Two, science is based on inductive logic. Inductive logic cannot prove anything to be true. So science cannot prove anything to be true. Three, scientists are human. So they are as prone to confirmation bias as any other human beings. Four, there are lots of examples where scientists have been wrong. Five, a significant number of scientific papers claim that other hypotheses, by other scientists, are wrong to varying degrees. Remember that a scientific paper is supposed to bring something new to the conversation of science. A common way to do that is to argue that other hypotheses, past or present, are wrong. Six, in philosophy of science, it is known that theory is underdetermined by data. What this means is that there are many different possible explanations for a given set of data. That is why in science, we can only falsify, but not prove, any given hypothesis or theory. Seven, so an alleged consensus of scientists cannot prove naturalistic mega-evolution, for instance, to be true. Eight, and similarly, an alleged majority of scientists cannot prove naturalistic mega-evolution, for instance, to be true. Scientist quote, truth is not determined by a majority vote. Dr. Koritz and Dr. Poynard, conclusion, 
So, alleged consensus among scientists is not proof of truth, particularly for a field like evolutionary biology, where the extrapolation of observed microevolution to megaevolution in deep time is just storytelling that is not testable or falsifiable in real time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.